Want to create some amazing looking navigation menu for your Gutenberg WordPress website? Here's what we are going to create in this video with the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. We will be able to create menus like this one where we can highlight a single navigation link or we can create a hover sub menu like this one or maybe we can create a vertical navigation like this one or instead of a simple sub menu we can also create a mega menu by just click off a few buttons and the mega menu will look something like this or maybe a toggle menu like this one so if all that sounds interesting, then let's dive in in our WordPress backend and start building our navigation menu. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to deep dive in the world of WordPress using Gutenberg, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Here we are in our WordPress backend and in our plugin section, we have our plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version. And once we have installed both of these plugins, we can now go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks. And here we need to search for navigation. And this is the navigation menu block that we are going to use to create our menus. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of this plugin. So make sure you have the pro version installed and activated. And after that, just need to make sure that we turn on this block from here and then just click on save. Moving on to the step number two, that is creating navigation menu in our WordPress backend. So this is a sample site that we are building. And right now we just have the default WordPress website title here and we don't have any navigation menu. So let's go ahead and build one. So in order to create our navigation menu, we need to go to appearance and then click on menus. And here by default, we get this menu one. So we can rename that. So we call it top main menu. And here for this example, we are going to add our pages. So by default, we have the home page about us contact and service page. So we can move these pages up and down to rearrange the elements in our navigation menu. And once that is done, we can also add post or any custom link here. But right now we will keep it for pages. So let's create this menu and we are done with this part. Step number three, building our custom header. So as we are using the Nexter WordPress theme, we got Nexter Builder. And with the help of that, we can build our custom header, footer and various other templates. But for now, we will be building our custom header. So for that, we need to click on add new and let's give it a name. And in Nexter Builder layout section, we will select as section and we will select header from here and the type of header we will choose normal we can go ahead and choose sticky or normal plus sticky so let's start with normal first and for the display rule we want to include this menu on our entire website so we will select this option from here and then we can just close this builder section In the main content area, we can drop our Gutenberg blocks to build our entire header. So let's start by adding our container block. So we will be using the TP container block and we are going to use this layout. And let's start by adding our logo first. So we are going to use TP site logo block and then we will upload our logo image from here. So let's say we choose this image and we will make the image size as full and maybe we can create 180 pixel wide and once that is done we will use these three dots to add the next block and for that we will click on insert after and as we are using the flex box container the next element will be added in the same row and here we will add our tp navigation block so let's click on this and now on the right hand side, we have navigation content. So in the first option, we have the type of navigation. So here we have the WordPress menu. That is the one which we have just created in the WordPress backend. 
or we can create our manual menu in which we have to enter all the navigation links right here. So right now we are going to select WordPress menu and the menu layout we are going to choose horizontal for this example. But as mentioned before, you can also create vertical or vertical toggle navigation. And once we have selected the WordPress menu from here, we now need to select the menu. And here we get the list of menus that we have created in the WordPress backend. So let's select this one that we have just created. And as soon as we select that, here we can see the elements of our menu. After that, we have sub menu open option, which is right now set on on hover. So we will leave it as it is. And after that, we can also set the sub menu transition. So you can play around with that from here. So we will keep the alignment on the right. And after that, we have mobile menu. So if you want to create a separate navigation menu for mobile users, we have already created a separate video for that. So if you want to learn how you can create a dedicated mobile navigation for your WordPress site, you can go ahead and check out the video. We will link that in the video description below or we will add that in the card above. Once that is done, we can now go to style and for the main menu, we can do all the styling. So let's start with typography. So here we can set all the things related to font family and font size. So let's say we select Poppins as font and let's say we keep it 13 pixel. And after that here we can set the text color. So maybe we can change any color from our global color palette or maybe we can set a custom color from here. And then we can play around with background color as well as some background images. And the same goes for the sub menu and the mobile navigation menu. But right now let's click on this list view and go back to our container. And for this one, as we are using a Flexbox container, we get Flex Properties option here. So we will align the elements in the center and then use the space between for the column justification. And after that, we can also set the elements gap if you are using more than two elements. So let's say after our navigation menu, we are going to add another element. Let's add one. So we'll click on insert after. And now we will add a button. So we will use the TP button block to create a call to action link here. So we will keep it as it is and we will keep the text as by now. We can change this from here and maybe we can add a dummy link here. All right. Once that is done, let's go ahead and publish our header and let's go ahead and refresh our front end. So this is our front end with the default WordPress header. Let's refresh this page and see how our custom header looks. So this is how our custom header looks. We have the logo on the left. We have the navigation menu in the middle and we have a call to action button on the right hand side. Now, if we come back here and click on our navigation menu and here in the type right now, we have selected WordPress menu. If in case we use manual menu, again, we get an option to choose the layout so we can create horizontal, vertical and vertical toggle navigation. But this time, in order to show the links in our menu, we need to add the elements here in the navigation menu links. For example, if we click here, first we need to set the level zero elements, that is the top level navigation link. For example, if we enter home, we can see the home text here with the link and that link we can set from this link setting icon. So we can enter any URL here and we can also set an icon for this. So we can choose icon or image. So this is the default icon that we can change from this range icon here. So you can play around with any icon as you wish. Along with that, you can also set the styling of this icon. In the same way, we can add more elements here and that all will be level zero. That is the parent elements for this navigation menu. So let me just quickly rename all of them. Now, if in case we want to add a sub menu, we need to add another menu item from here. Let's click on add menu and instead of level zero, we are going to select level one. And again, we can give the text here and all the things will remain the same like our level zero menu. And now we can just drag and drop it to anywhere where we want to show this sub menu. So right now this will be the sub menu of about us. So let's update this here and let's refresh our front end one more time. So now we have an entirely different navigation menu that we have built manually. And here, if we mouse over on about us, we can see our services link as sub menu. If we come back here, 
for our level one here we have an option for sub menu type which is right now set on link so that's why we got this simple link sub menu but if you want to create a mega menu all we have to do is just change this from link to mega menu and once again for that we have already created a separate video that we will link in the video description below or you can also check that out in the card above so this is how easy it is to build your navigation menu using the plus add-ons for gutenberg so if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and if you want to learn more about how you can do some amazing stuff using gutenberg with the help of plus add-ons then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video